Super excited. It is finally time, the one time a year that we help runners improve their run form and we do it a couple hundred runners at a time. Hi everyone, Steve Gons, a physical therapist with Run Smart. I'm really happy to announce that we have launched the Midfoot Project for 2021. So for those that don't know, 20, uh, the Midfoot Project is a five-week run form boot camp that we hold. And we only hold it once a year. And last year we held it in February. Uh, we're holding it again on April 4th. And we're super excited to get started. So I want to tell you about Midfoot Project and also give you a little bit of uh, why this is important. So if you join us for the Midfoot Project, you're going to get a couple things. You're going to get five weeks of, of boot camp training with us, myself and Pat, Q&As. Um, you're going to get a full download for a run form guide. We have this really cool thing. And if anyone, and maybe let me know in the comments if anyone joined me for Need for Speed. But uh, we have this other program called Need for Speed that we launched uh, a year or two ago. And this past year, in August, we uh, did audio runs. Now, this is interesting because I would never want to listen to myself on a run, but we had a lot of good feedback from this. Um, one of the things we're doing for the Midfoot Project this year, um, by the way, if you're interested in Midfoot Project, there is a link in this post. Uh, it starts April 4th. Um, the price is yeah, early bird pricing for the next two weeks, and then it goes to normal pricing. But uh Back to what I was saying, back in Need for Speed, we did these audio runs, and I actually got to coach people through it. So think of it as like a guided, I don't know if anyone does meditation or guided runs, um, but it's, it's by no means meditation because you have this voice <laughs> talking to you. But um, what we're doing in Midfoot Project this year for the first time is actually every single week you get a recorded run where you pop me in your ear, you go out for a run, and I actually talk you through the changes as if I was running it right next to you, which... A lot of my runners, when I do this in person, I used to do this a lot more in person than I do now, um, but uh, they, they loved when I was running next to them and being able to talk to them. So Midfoot, Pro uh, Midfoot Project, there's a link in the post. Why is this important? If One of the, the interesting things with running is that it is a very technique-driven sport. A lot of runners don't realize that running is very technique-based. Um, like you can run down the road like Phoebe Buffet, right? Like going crazy. That's not very efficient. And then you can be something like an elite runner where they have this nice streamlined stride. Most of us are somewhere in between. Some of us are more towards Phoebe's side. Some of us are more towards the elite side. But I want you guys to know that running, how you run makes a difference. And when we look at changing someone's run form, and this is precisely what Midfoot Project's all about, is is learning to not necessarily, like it used to be, when we used to first teach this program, it was all about don't hit your heel, you don't want to do, uh, you don't want to heel strike. That's not what Midfoot Project is about. Midfoot Project is about teaching you how to soften your impact forces and also stop your braking forces. The way that most people run, believe it or not, is they uh, they tap what we call tap the brakes in the Midfoot Project. So um, you're running down the road at 80 steps a minute on each leg, so it's 160 on both, time, uh, both sides, and it's like every time your foot hits the ground, you tap the brakes. And that's traditionally characterized by a straight knee coming into the ground with the toes pulled up. So we try to teach people is how to uh, improve their shock absorption. Midfoot running is phenomenal if, you have, uh, if you're worried about your knees, you have stiff knees, um, but it's also really great to improve your performance. So um, there's a lot of benefits to, to learning midfoot to do it properly. Now here's the thing I want you guys to know um, that we address a ton in the midfoot project is that you, this is not about running on your toes because uh, that's the one thing I see a lot is like people try to change their run form and they, they way overshoot to the other side. If you run on your toes, that is almost as bad or, or worse than hitting your heel with a straight knee. So um, take a look at the link in this post. Midfoot Project starts April 4th, five weeks with myself and Pat O'Connor where we lead you through the exact changes. This is a run form boot camp. It only happens once a year. It is now live. If you don't want to join, I'm disappointed a little bit, but I will be going live all month talking about run form. So tune into the Run Smart Facebook page and uh, you'll see me tomorrow. But in the meantime, check out the link in this post. Join us for the, the upcoming Midfoot Project if you so choose. And uh, you won't be disappointed. This is a huge part of learning how to run properly. It is the first pillar. Like people, like that's the other thing I'll talk to you about real quick is people are like, well, look, I want to change my run form. I get patients coming into the clinic and they're like, well, I want to... Uh, I've been working on my lean a little bit, my arm position, and how my foot hits the ground. This is the first place to start. If you're thinking about like how to hold my arms and how my posture and things, midfoot running is the best place to start. And I can tell you guys, it, it offers the most bang for your buck. It is an awesome place to begin. And if you are um, set up for this, it, and then you can work on the other things. Now, I do see some questions. Um, Midfoot Project is not included with the, the app membership. There's two programs that we run that are not included with our Run Smart app. This being one, the Midfoot Project, 
and the other one's Need for Speed because um, what we'll do is we'll take a group of runners together and Pat and I will be pretty much in there every single day working with runners to, to master this. So it's not part of the app. Um, there is a do-it-yourself section in the app, uh, Run Smart Mechanics. This is a much deeper dive than um, Run Smart Mechanics, and it, this also has the audio files this time. It has a lot more content, a lot more training involved, and you get Pat and I to talk you through it and answer your questions as you go. Um, and then Denise mentioned in here that the audio runs. We are going to get those out to past members of Midfoot Project. We have to figure out how to do that the best way. So if, you're, if you've done Midfoot Project in the past, we will get those audio files to you one way or the other because um, it's just the right thing to do, and we'll figure that out. But uh, check out the link in this poster. Just go to midfootproject.com. Uh, we're super excited to get started on April 4th. Tune in to the Run Smart Facebook page or Instagram, and uh, you'll see me go live and talk about, all about running for the next 30 days or so. All right, everyone. Have a great night. Bye.